Hey, we see each other yet again. So YouTube, Team Keep It Clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, Raven's secondary has been a very interesting topic of conversation just to watch them this season, to watch how things have been, to watch Marlon Humphrey, Anthony Averitt, Jimmy Smith when he's been there. Um, and they've incorporated a lot of Brandon Stevens in the mix too, especially with Deshaun Elliott being out. Um, but the secondary, it has some, some question marks here and there. They did sign Kevin Seymour, um, and they are pretty thin in the secondary. It was once a, a position that just had so much depth, but obviously with the Marcus Peters injury, um, that changed everything in an instant. And then Jimmy Smith, he had ended up getting hurt and he was out for a little while. Um, but thank goodness he's back. But the Ravens, apparently they just doing some digging. Because it's crazy. Y'all saw all these corners that got released today? It was so many corners that got released today. Um, but somebody that the Ravens had in for a visit was Dark Keys Denard. And with him... He was a uh, former first-round draft pick from the Bengals. And I think Ravens, just since they're so familiar with the Bengals, obviously they've been playing them two times a year for a very long time now, they have extra inside information on a lot of these different players because they have another former first-round draft pick from the Bengals, Andre Smith. They got him on their squad right now. And they kept him around for a while, too, because, again, they signed him right before that 2019 playoff game against the Titans. Uh, and we don't need to, have to speak on how that game went because that's irrelevant to what we're talking about. But anyway, secondary help, I, I would not be mad at that. Now, I know a lot of fans, they tend to have recency bias. So please don't let this th make you think that, oh, they're looking for a guy to, to come in and replace uh, Anthony Avery because, man, he played so bad last game. It's not what it's about. It's just about looking for depth. Now, somebody who else, uh, who else got cut today um, was Devontae Harris. Now, Ravens fans remember him, um, who he, he was signed last year. And he's a good special teamer, got in and cornerback, some safety or whatnot. He was, moved around in the secondary. Um, but he just got cut today uh, from the 49ers. And somebody went straight to Jeff Zrebic, who is the source when it comes to Ravens stuff. And they said, Jeff! Any chance we, we bring him back? Jeff said, well, maybe as a gunner, because Raven's a little thin there in that gunner role. And it was just preseason, and we're not going back to that. But they're not going to put a Dafe away there. Uh, we saw Miles Boykin there last night, so that, it was nice to see Miles Boykin back on the field. Um, so we'll, we'll see if anything happens with that. But with Dog Keys, Denard, um, you can never be mad at a team for looking at depth. You can never have enough depth. Uh, obviously, your starters are Marlon Humphrey, um, uh, Tavon Young, Anthony Averitt, Jimmy Smith. Uh, but after that, you, you still, again, you want to stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. And, and that's the biggest thing right there. Now, it, it's been a, a sort of a blessing that um, the Ravens have had so much, so many guys in the secondary this year. Um, a lot more guys than they're used to having, especially with Tavon Young and Jimmy Smith playing. And that's not a shot at them. It's just what reality has been. They just haven't been available. Um, so with, 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 our, with four of our top five guys playing, that's been pretty good. It's been pretty good. And it's allowed guys to actually be able to rest. It's allowed guys to be able to take some plays off. Not take some plays off on the field, but take some plays off off the field. So we really appreciate that. Um, but again, stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Because you just never know. As Ravens know this season, you just never know what could happen. They literally just put their 16th guy on injury reserve with Ben Cleveland. 16th or 17th, some, whatever the crazy number is. They just put another guy in Ben Cleveland on injury reserve. So... What, what is the record? I, I, what's the record for most players on injury reserve? I don't want the Ravens to break it, but I almost feel like they already have because it just it's like nonstop. But hopefully uh, his injury doesn't end up being anything serious. So anyway, that's that. I love y'all. Just wanted to keep y'all updated as I found out 
want to put y'all on too. Love you, appreciate you, and we out.